this scarf okay with this mic? Good. Do I look at you or do I look at the camera? It's you. Culkin. How did the My Music Company start? Well, we started small. I mean, we were just a blog covering underground indie music, and then we expanded into filmed concerts, interviews, and more. My music became the destination for the web generation to discover music in a whole new way. Unfortunately, success did not prove easy. I realized that if I wanted to expose the masses to underground music, I would need to diversify the audience, even though I hate everything mainstream. I love everything mainstream. Once I was brought on, I made Indy realize that if we weren't covering pop music to bring in the people that would actually spread the word, there would be no hope. See, hipster kids are totally terrified of telling anyone about anything because they're afraid it's gonna become popular. After that, everyone we brought in fit into a very specific demographic that we wanted to tap into. That's real social media. Don't stop, careful. Can you set up a language on this show? <laughs> That's right, Dubstep. Once Indian Idol brought us all on, the company grew fast and all was poor. Till the site we were on shut down. Bankruptcy blows, son! With our popularity high, but no site to call our own, we quickly formed our own full-fledged production company and decided to restart on our own site. We're Transmedia now. You probably never heard of it. I almost forgot. Indy makes us go by nicknames, you know, based on the music we like. So, my name is Scene. Do you get it? I haven't yet found a specific music style to call my own. I kind of like everything, which doesn't really fly around here. So, they just call me Intern 2, because I was the second intern they hired. Broad stereotypes are way easier to remember than names. <sighs> Kombucha? Okay, fine. More for me. Ugh. Indy, I really gotta get back to work. Damn it, intern two, you are working! <laughs> intern two, get me a new scarf! Now, go get me a new scarf! I'm choking on my own vomit here, please! Could be worse. Could have ended up being the rat protector. Oh, why are you attacking me? I'm supposed to be protecting you! What are you up for it? Are you up for it? Is it free? Hey, is this my music? Am I in the right place? Yes! Hi, hi, hello, welcome! OMG, we like look totally like twins! Aren't you emo kids supposed to be all mopey and cutting yourselves? I'm not emo, silly. I'm seeing, you see? Emo, goth, scene, who can follow what the kids are into anymore? You're late on your first day, not starting off on the right culkin. See, I need Kieran and you're giving me Macaulay. These are the interns. You can ignore them. This is Idol, our head of social media. Did you say Culkin? Ugh, yes. That's Indy's so-called buzzword. A buzzword is something that people say. Culkin's an original. See, it's based on the three most relevant Culkins. Macaulay, Kieran, Rory. Their level of cool is dictated by their lifestyle and career. As long as you don't give me Rory, you'll be okay around here. Okay. Well, uh, I'm sorry I'm late, boss man. Uh, I got here on time, but um, I had to like sign all these appearance releases for the cameras and uh, put this lav pack on. Plus I had to walk like a mile because somebody parked their bike in my parking spot. That's not just a, a bike, it's a custom fix gear. Ugh. What? Oh God, oh fire! Come on, hey, everybody, we're all gonna burn to death. Why are we all still standing here? LOL! That's the staff meeting bell, silly! Well, if the alarm is a meeting bell, then how do you know when there's a fire? There's never going to be a fire. All right, first item, fire safety. To avoid any future confusion, I've removed the alarm system completely. What? Don't worry, I got a fire owl. Never seen an owl burn, so I'm pretty sure they're good at preventing fires. Fire! That wasn't an alarm, it was just hooting. Well, 
how can you tell when there is a fire? There won't be a fire because we have a fire owl. So, it only took two fires and the death of an endangered species to introduce you to our new metal, who will also be the head of production. Hi. What up? Happy to be aboard. So, uh, who's my production team? The interns. Do what now? A question? What is production? <laughs> So it seems my team has no experience. I've actually got some anchor management issues, uh, but I've gotten past that. It's just a little bump in the road, no problem. What the hell? Sorry, I'm just practicing. <laughs> okay, people, I wanna make sure we have enough programming to satisfy our growing audience every week. Any thoughts? Idle. Singing contests, and we can get our viewers to vote on our social networks. If you suggest that again, I'll feed you the giant rats. Techno, what do you got? What about a live show? We can talk music, have killer dance parties. Okay, uh, only if we limit the dancing to mild swaying. We want people to enjoy themselves, but not too much. We also need to select a host for our music news show. Now, the obvious choice is myself. I'll cover only bands from middle America that feature a cellist and a harp. Hey, Indy, guess what? No one's gonna watch that. If you want success, you have to cover it all. Okay, we can show music videos. We'll do interviews. And really, the host should be a scotch more in touch with the scene. Someone... Like scene. OMG, really? Indy, if you let me do it, I'll work real close with you to make sure your music is represented. Please, please, please. I think I'm gonna throw up. Probably from drinking all those fungus-based beverages. Shut up, intern two. It's not the sweet kombucha. It's the fact that Idol is actually right. <gasps> Covering everything will allow us to reach a wider audience and allow me the opportunity to convert more mainstream people to better music. Plus, scene will work for free. I, I don't know, guys. That sounds like too much work. Don't worry, Metal. I'll do all the work. Oh, it's settled then. Scene will host the show. Metal will do all the work. What? I don't know if taking this job was the best idea. Starting tomorrow, I'm gonna have to get serious. I don't think I'm gonna have a lot of help around here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, come on, man! What are you doing under here? You guys haven't given me a desk yet! Well, it's next on my to-do list. You gotta move. I need this space to work. I need the space to put my custom-built fixed gear now that you took its parking spot. What's more important, boss man? Weekly content for your site or parking for your Huffy? You can share with Idol, see? Metal and pop can coexist. Just look at Linkin Park. <gasps> I love that band. Intern two, what do you know about Bigfoot? Yay, I get a desk friend. Do not call me that. Okay, we are gonna be BFFs. And speaking of Linkin Park, what's your favorite lyric specifically? Mine is, crawling in my skin, this was a world right here. Works every time. Though I do love Linkin Park. Guilty. It's important to me that everyone in the office feel comfortable. Like this office is a giant pair of Tom's shoes and my employees are a bunch of third world feet. People call me Mr. Indy and I always cut them off and say, please, call me Indy. Mr. Indy was my dad's name. He's old school Uncle Buck Culkin. He started the first zine ever called Stash. You probably never heard of it. just some poser. I'm legacy. My pure indie bloodline goes back generations. This is my great grandpa, Mr. Mr. Indy, who rode the first fixed gear. This is my great great grandpa who convinced Lincoln to grow an ironic beard. Oh, this is my favorite. My ancestors were among the first to come to America before it got all Thanksgiving mainstream. Oh, that is that price. Great, um, hey, can I get a discount if I rent by the month? Metal, hey, metal, 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 metal. I have to metal. call you back. Hey, metal, metal, you in there? What? Oh, hey, metal, I didn't know you were in here. <laughs> nice office. 
Do you have an ETA on the production schedule for this week? Why don't you have your stupid hipster bike finish the production schedule? Whoa. Look, the only way someone would insult the perfection that is a custom-built fixed gear is if something is seriously wrong. I hear you. I feel you. I'm gonna fix this right now. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? I just set my Google Plus account to link to my YouTube, which is already connected to my Twitter, which feeds my Tumblr. My Tumblr is connected to my Facebook and my daily booth, so when I post something to Facebook, it automatically posts to my Twitter, so that my Twitter and my Tumblr are Shut up, shut up, shut the f up! In turn two, metal's taking over your space now. Stop giving the nonverbal get a load of this guy face. Tub, that's your plan? Make me work with the interns? Well, the interns do most of the hard work at the company. Speaking of which, intern two, what is the ETA on my Bigfoot? Uh, still working on it. Damn it, intern two. If I didn't have this kombucha here to soothe me, I would fire you right now. <laughs> Post something on Twitter that now updates my Google Plus. Shut up, shut up, shut the f up. All right, just sit here and look what you seem to think is cute. <laughs> Status update Indy just called me cute. I don't know why you guys let them treat you like that. Hey, we're not the ones being forced to stare at the interns when there's an entire cubicle no one's using. Say what? Say what? Say what? Say what? Say what? 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 See? Yeah. But that's this guy's desk. That's a pile of scarves. Wait, but I just had lunch with this guy. I just want a desk. I mean, you get it. You've got a desk. Pretty sweet desk, too. <laughs> you want some noodles? I've been asking for a desk since I got here, and this guy's got a desk and he's not even real? No offense, dude. Idiot thinks Pile of Scarves is a man. Posting on the company Facebook page. Yeah. The Indy Royal line predates even the Native Americans. Back then, you could label yourself a hipster without being called a poser. I came across the land bridge from Asia. This was during the Ice Age. Probably never heard of it. <coughs> I don't care about your damn family tree unless you're gonna cut it down to make me a desk with it. Or just give me the scarf one. No offense, dude. You guys wanna grab a drink or something? Go drown our sorrows? No way! I'm straight edge. Drinking is bad, 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 bad! <laughs> don't leave me hanging, intern two. I totally would, but trust me, you don't want Indy thinking we're friends. You have it bad enough here. See you later. Well, looks like it's just me and you, buddy. Go grab some grub. Head of production. I don't need an office, a desk. A desk is all I need. I made all the videos this week, no complaints. Keeping it cool. Still, it's like I don't even exist. Hey guys, if you see Metal, can you tell him to let me know what he wants his Twitter handle to be? Otherwise, I'm gonna make it myself. I'm telling you guys, I can't take much more of this. Where's Metal? He's never here when I need him. All right, you know, so I'm not. I am right here. Hello, normal American man. Hello, poser. Oh, are you a troll? No, I am not the mystical beast from Scandinavian folklore. Gargo! So good to see you. Can I get you anything? Kombucha, Folgers? Folgers, are you okay? I feel great. In turn two, why don't you come with us? We're gonna catch up. And see, if you see metal, will you tell him that Gorgo's here? I feel like you'd get a kick out of meeting her. The master of Norwegian black metal is Indy's cousin and is here right now where I work! Maybe this job ain't so bad after all! So tell me, cousin, how's the tour going? It's been great. 
Our last album, They're All Mealworms, sold over 1,000 copies in the US of A. That's really great for a black metal album. Back home, they tore us a ticker tape parade. But instead of ticker tape, they showered us with freshly cut orphan fingers. They said the screams of the children could be heard all the way in the fjords of the Koningarik at Schwierig. Hmm. That's nice. Want to meet the rest of the crew? Da, da. We don't have to. This man is not soft. You can eat him if you want to. This is Idol. She tortures me on a daily basis. Sounds like a great time. She could be my wife. Gogo is progressive. Hello, sweet angel of death. Every rose has its thorn. I would be careful with Idol and her conformist ways. Anything she's heard of instantly becomes uncool. Watch this. Hey, Idol, what do you think of Foster the People? Oh my god, they are so cool. I hear they're on the verge of breaking. My kicks shall no longer be pumped. Have you heard of me? Um, are you like a juggalo? Oh, thank god. Still Kalkin, Gorgo. Mm. Still Kalkin. And I guess I ate one of the bad mushrooms because I saw the devil. <laughs> <laughs> what? Dove stuff, are you rolling again? She didn't mean it literally. Gorgle, a uh, huge fan. Oh. Could I get a picture? Of course. Oh, thank you. Let's take a group shot. Yeah. Group photo? All right. Yeah, Mel, you take the picture. You take it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah, sure. Squeeze together, guys. I like it, it's long. It's good. There you go, it looks great. Thank you so much. Very nice to meet you. It has just been so great having Gorgle here. She is just the best. She's a mensch, unlike that Connor Oberst. I've emailed him every day for the last eight years and nothing. My eyes have seen no brightness. I don't know, I'm feeling off lately. Something's, something's not right. She walked right past me. I mean, nobody even knows I exist. You guys understand what I'm saying, right? Oh, keep it cool, metal. Keep it cool. Come on, don't get all girly glare, metal. Oh, be deftones. Come on, deftones. Start talking. Oh, you can keep it cool, right? Right? It's gonna be all right. Happy place. Wow, to death! Oh, my heart is exploding! Hey! Keep it cool! I would love to interview you for my show if you're around this week. I'd have to ask my tour manager if he hasn't died of the Black Plague. But if there's time, I'd love to come back. Is this what you want? Huh? Yeah? You notice me now? Boom, 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 boom. What did he say? That sure he's heard of the show Headbangers Ball, but not Headbangers Balls! <laughs> burn! <laughs> because I'm the devil. I mean, it wasn't even a burn, really. I'll use that later. You are hilarious, dude. You are my god. Screw that Gino. You are it for me. Can I have your autograph? Depends on what you want me to sign. Gorgle noticed me, and I even got her autograph! Woo! <laughs> Feels so good right now. This must be like what it's like when baby dragons learn to fly. <sighs> Gorgle, it was so good seeing you again. You're welcome here anytime. Cousin, I am worried about you. Why are you worried about me? You're wearing khakis. Well, they're a very comfortable fit. I mean, I really enjoyed the way. Comfortable fitting pants! No! <laughs> ah! Comfortable fitting pants underneath another pair of comfortable fitting pants! No! Before Gorgo left last night, she made me realize that my usually impeccable taste has been experiencing some lapses. I'm suddenly interested in the antics of so-called real housewives, and I can't wait to see the Hunger Games. 
for the third time. Katniss and Peeta, don't even get me started. I don't know how this condition is gonna manifest itself next. Ah! Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> An update? Well, I still don't have my own workspace, but uh, I did luck out today. Techno and Dubstep are helping me out, so that's a big improvement over no help. Thanks for doing this, guys. It's been a little rough around here for me starting out, and uh, I appreciate the help. No problem. We supervise the lighting for the Space Age Daisy Freakout, the biggest electronic music festival in the country. <clears throat> Isn't that that rave where everyone got trampled to death? Best rave ever. <laughs> Dubstep says it's ready to test. Great. I just need a simple wash to light the green screen. No problem. Holy! What? Where did, where did they come from? about my working conditions, boss man! This again? You know, I just got you that computer you asked for. You got me this! Intern two smells. Intern two smells. Intern two smells. It's vintage. Two smells. Anything vintage is better than anything non-vintage. It's not just that! I need my own workspace! If scene makes me listen to that damn Yan Cat video one more time, I'll remind her Fall Out Boy is broken up and she will die from grief! Sorry, bro, Ham, it's just it's not in the budget. Well, Maybe if you stop paying that Native American shaman to bless the office every week, we'd have enough money for everyone to get some nice new equipment and have their own space. I cannot and I will not shave any more money off the shaman budget. We cannot run the risk of things getting any more mainstream around here. I'm wearing pleated slacks for God's sakes. That's it! Mutiny! You know, I got my own problems, Metal. Real problems. I can't even rank my favorite replacement albums anymore. Ugh, I didn't even call them the mats. Close the door and start the cleanse. I'm sorry about all that. Employees of my music, the time for change is nigh. Indy is so obsessed with his stupid image, he would rather lock himself in his office than deal with our problems. So panic at that disco metal. Indy is really great once you get to know him. And metal, we all deal with Indy differently. For instance, when things go bad, I prefer to sing, you gotta keep your head up, ha, ah, you gotta keep your head up, ha, ah, you gotta keep your head up, ha, ah, you gotta keep your head up. Oh, shut ah, it, Idol! You just sit at your desk all day, updating your Facebook and listening to music made by little boys who look like lesbians. Insult Eminem all you want, but do not diss social media. You can thank it for the job you have right now. Thank you very much. Eminem, I was talking about Justin Bieber. You will forget it. We work our asses off for Indy and he treats us like Jason Newstead. It was supposed to be here to accentuate my point, but Indy wouldn't pay for it. Join me and we can build a new utopia. Shut yourself, metal. Whoa. Ain't nobody asked you. I mean, ain't nobody asked you. I guess the way with murder up here, son, and I want to keep it that way. Absolutely. Whatever you say, sir. I want to keep it that way, too. Just keep the peace, keeping it cool. Everyone be cool. Now, Scarf Man, now! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> now I'm the one with the gun. I'm the man with the gun. You're gonna do what I say. The man! Now everybody wanna move that way up the stairs into the conference room, okay? No funny business, guys. No sudden moves. Very nice, thank you. We're a regular Axel and Slash, aren't we, Scarf Man? My music? Welcome to Metal Town! <laughs> Metal locked us all in here last night, and Indy won't come out of his office. I've decided to make the best of this by pretending that this is Big Brother. I need to focus so I can win head of household. Also, 
I've decided that I'm hating everyone so I can be the evil dick of the conference room. Idol doesn't seem to realize that we can hear her even when she's talking to the camera. This isn't a reality show. You know what I mean. Do you want to form an alliance? Think about it. I've been doing great work all by my lonesome. I've been exploring the joint and finding all kinds of ways the company's just hemorrhaging money. Yesterday, I found the cellar full of honeycombs. Indy seems to be into urban beekeeping or something. He spent over 20 grand and made this much honey. Huh. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go uninstall a freshwater bidet Indy installed in the bathroom for $15,000. Don't, 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 no! Everyone don't, is no! Battle, get your pointy head back there, Battle! McKip. Yes, son. It's me. Your father. Your intern emailed me about your ailment. So I left my common law wife back in Vermont so I could come here to check on you. An intern? My new intern too secretly worshipped me. No, it wasn't him. It was some emo type. I'm not emo! Dad, my tastes are becoming increasingly more mainstream. And if this is permanent, then I'd rather die. Well, what do you expect, son, when you surround yourself with pedestrian music and people who eat at Applebee's? You have compromised your image. Boy, you've contracted mainstream disease. Truth is, our superior bloodline is riddled with diseases like this, thanks to copious amounts of incest. Our ancestors were obsessed with keeping the bloodline pure, but I never pass up an opportunity to judge my son. We're not just critical of style and music, we're also critical of our children. How can I beat this? Have you tried an artisan cocktail with cinnamon shaved on top? Of course. Have you made people at the grocery store feel crappy for not using recyclable bags? It's all I do. Oh my, this is very serious. You don't even know the half of it. Oh, oh my, Christopher Hitchens. Please, tell me you're wearing that ironically. No. Oh. Listen, son, we must train. Rebecca Black? What are you doing here? Uh, your boss pays me $50,000 a week to hang out here and write him a song every day about what he eats for lunch. Suffice it to say, I've written a lot of songs about Kale. Wait a minute. Why would Indy hire you? I don't know. He said something about it being, like, ironic. Okay. You're fired. Get out. Pardon? Uh, by the looks of it, you never got over the fact that Metallica cut their hair in 1996 before they released Load. But that doesn't mean you can take it out on me. So you know what? You can't fire me because I quit. Go! Indy, I can't get you back to your normal organic form, but you must focus. Are you ready? Bring it on. I apologize for using a reference that could be misconstrued as a cheerleading movie thing. The reference was lost on me. Thank God. If you're gonna ride your bike, pick me up when you go by. Doesn't matter where we're going, just as long as we're alone.
totally over them. Well done, Indy. Let us celebrate with a delicious mug of kombucha. <laughs> Things are looking up around here. With the money I saved from cleaning house, already got me a new camera. Barring a triumphant return of Indy, I think things are gonna be okay. I have made a triumphant return. I already changed everything back to the way it was, and I gave away your new camera in exchange for free couch surfing in Prague. What? How did you? All right, boss man, you win. I'm out. Hey, Metal, wait. I'm giving you a desk. Say what? Say what? Say what? Say what? Say what? 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 Look, when my illness had me out of commission, you proved yourself capable of running this entire company. Not to mention your dedication to metal with that airhead style hostage situation. You proved your culkin around here. You earned your workspace. Really? Yeah, just take my scarves and hats from that desk and burn them. I say give them to a homeless guy, but I already reached my quota for today. What do you say? I say okay. Well then. I think this all wrapped up rather nicely, didn't it? Wanna go to the social, get a drink? Yes. Yeah. We both like Mastodon, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I bet you're real good at Foursquare. Foursquare? Is that like hip hop? Yeah.